Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 16 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Problem number 539, minimum time difference. So in this problem, we have given a list of 24 hour clock time points in HH colon MM format. Okay, and we have to return the minimum minutes difference between any two points in the list okay so from here uh, one thing that we can do uh, we can just convert this uh, hh colon mm into the minutes format right so uh, here uh, how i'm going to convert all these into minutes so 23 hours is given to us right so i can write it like this 23 into 60 plus 59 okay so it is going to give me uh, something around 1439 right and I can write it like this. This is nothing but zero. Okay. So here, uh, this time points is nothing but a list of strings given to us, right? So first thing that we need to do here, we can just convert it like this. Okay. And then after that, uh, once we calculate all this stuff, okay, then we can just uh, do the sorting on this. Uh, here, uh, first zero will come, then one, four, three, nine will come. Okay. In this way, we will do the sorting. Okay. So let's say I have created one array. And in array, I have added the minutes. Okay, I have converted this HH colon mm to minutes, and then I have added that to my array. And once I have added that to my um, let's say minutes array, I do the sorting. Okay, on this one, and then later on I will calculate the difference. Okay, so here uh, let's say in my minutes array, I have a time like this. Okay, first uh, after sorting, zero minutes. Then I have ten minutes. Then I have 80 minutes. Then I have let's say 1, 2, 6, 0 minutes. Then I have 1, 4, 3, 9 minutes. Okay. So, so here uh, now we have just calculate the minimum minutes difference, right? So I can do this. Okay. So here difference is 10. Okay. I am good. Uh, 10 to 80 difference is 70. But I don't need to, to consider that because 10 is a minimum. Okay, then 80 to 1260 difference is very uh, large uh, than this 10, nah? so I don't need to consider this. 1260 to 1439 difference is very large. I don't need to consider it, right? It is definitely going to be greater than 10. But but about this 0 and 1439, okay? Because uh, this 0, I can write it like this, nah? 0, 0, 0, 0, right? This is nothing but HH and colon mm format right and same way i can write this 1439 like this now 23 colon 59 right so here if you see the difference between them is just one minute that is why we are returning one here so now what we need to do here we are good if we are just comparing the differences like this 0 to 10 10 to 80 80 to 1 to 6 0 1 to 6 0 1 4 9 but we have to also compare these two as well now these two can have the minimum difference in minutes right so what i'm going to do here for this part okay and part so initially for this last part i let's say i'm calculating my mean d so here i am just going to apply this formula now 1440 minus this time 1439 minus this time 0 so it is going to give me just one minute right so what i am doing here this is in a circular way now right 0 starting from 0 and then after that it is ending at somewhere here 1439 okay so if i just uh, normally calculate the difference between 1439 and 0 i will get 1439 but this is not right output is 1 so to get this output as one, I can simply write this 1440 simply. This is nothing but if you multiply this 24 with 60, you will get this 1440. Okay, so this is what I'm writing. So here 1440 minus 1439 minus zero, I will get just one minute difference. Okay, so this is the one important point Okay, that we need to do. And other than this, this uh, question is very simple. Okay, so let's move to the coding part. It's easy, very easy. Let's calculate the number of time points I have. So here, write time points dot size, and then after that, let's create one minutes uh, array, and the length of this one is going to be n only, since uh, see here for this one we are going to write one fourteen, and for this one we are going to write zero, right? So 
length is same as the size of this time points uh, list of string right so this is done then after that let's iterate over all the time points one by one int i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus and here now inside this we have to first get these hours we have to get this minutes okay so this hours is at index 0 1 and this is at index 3 and 4 right the colon is at index 2 okay so here I can do one thing here I have to write int hours is equal to first I I need to convert this uh, string to uh, integer right so here I'm going to write integer dot parse int okay and what do I need to convert to integer? Uh, I have to convert one specific substring. Okay, this substring first I have to convert to my integer. Okay, so first let's take this substring now. So this is available at index 0. This is available at index 1. So here I am going to write time points dot get i dot substring I need right substring and here I have to write 0 and here I have to write 3 simply means 0 and 1 okay here I have to write 2 simply means 0 and 1 I have to do uh, this 2 is exclusive right so this is how I need to write so this will give me the hours now take the minutes so just copy this part paste it here and this is going to be my uh, minutes minutes okay so integer dot parse in time points dot get i substring so this is going to start from 3 ending at 5 right i have to write 5 is exclusive so here i have to write 3 and here i have to write 5 okay this is done then after that total minutes let's calculate total minutes so this is nothing but hours into 60 plus minute that's it and then just add this in my minutes array right minutes of i is equal to total means okay i have added this total means in my minutes array this is done here now let's take min d okay so here in this i'm just calculating the difference between this one and this one first okay so here i have to write 1440 minus uh, minutes of n minus minutes of 0 okay so here it should be minutes of n minus 1 now okay this is done so i have to calculate this one and this one difference right and subtract that from 1440 okay so this is going to give me min d okay then let's iterate over all the elements again in my minutes array int i is equal to 0 i is less than uh, n i plus plus and here i have to just update my main d okay main d write it like this otherwise okay main d is equal to here math dot min and here write min d and here you can simply write okay so do one thing here let's uh, we have to check uh, this one with this one this one with this one this one with this one this one is this one and we are stopping here right so here what I'm going to do uh, here I have to write int i is equal to n minus 1 less than n minus 1 here I have to write minutes minutes of i plus 1 okay I have to calculate different like this one, 10 minus 0 80 minus 10 okay so here and here I have to write minutes of i that's it done and in the end just return this main d easy all right now let's run it and see if there are any core issues so yes there are some issues so let's try to fix them so i think we have missed this part we have to sort this minutes array as well now so arrays dot sort and here just write minutes now only after that we are doing now first we have sorted this so here let's write it like this here and let's run it again so now all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted right i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you